بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويلكم باك تو ماي كلاس ام مس ساميه توداي ان شاء الله وي غانا نيو ليسن وي هاف نيو ثينجز اند وي ليرن نيو ثينجز اولسو اون ميجا جول 5 سوري اون ميجا جول 4 يونت 5 ات بيجز 78 اند 79 ليتس وي بيجان اور ليسن توداي So our lesson today is talk about form, meaning, and function. Form, how we form the statements, and what's the meaning of it. After that, we should know the function of it, what, uh, what that means. So we have two points here. The first one is talking about model auxiliaries. Model auxiliaries. What's the meaning of for model auxiliaries? So use must to talk about laws and rules use should to give advice so so we have two model auxiliaries one must and the other is should in which time i should you uh, i should we i should sorry use must when i want to talk about laws and if i want to using should uh, if i want to talk given an advice okay let we begin by must sentences you must stop at the traffic light So you must, يجب عليك, you must, you must not bark on the sidewalk. You must not bark on the sidewalk. Okay, that what about must. One affirmative and one negative. If I want to make it negative, I will put not after of the model auxiliaries. So if I want to using should, should, You should drive under the speed limit. You should drive under the speed limit. And if I want to make it a negative, that one is affirmative sentence. If I want to make it a negative, you shouldn't eat when you're driving. You shouldn't eat when you're driving. So I should put not after of should. Uh, on, on model auxiliary, we have two. That's a quick revision. One must and one should. I can use must when I want to talk about laws, and I can use should when I want to give an advice, okay? The second, uh, the note here for that one is, uh, must is stronger than should. Don't forget that. Must is uh, stronger. So if you are sure 100% about your statements, you should use must. It has a more formal and official tone. It has a more formal and official tone. That about must and should. Let we transfer to another point here. Adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner are normally formed by adding ly. So uh, the, 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 the words ending with uh, ly, it be, uh, we can call it adverbs. To an adjective, they express how something is done. They, they express how something is done. Okay, for example, we have quick, quickly, slow, slowly, careful, carefully, hard, hardly, fast, fastly, and so on. Okay, so uh, we have some question here and some words. We can uh, notice that uh, a lot of words here ending with ly. We can calling it, if, we f if you found the words ending with ly, we can calling it adverbs of manner. Let we check the uh, sentence here, what they have. How did he drive? He drove slowly. Slowly is uh, adverbs. How did she walk? She walked quickly. So quickly is uh, adverbs, okay? So adjective that ending in uh, double letter, for example, careful, we can double the last letter. So as careful, it become L, L, Y, carefully, carefully. Okay, so a lot of adjectives here ending with L, Y. But if you found the, the last letter uh, L, you should double that letter, okay? Sometimes an adjective, an adverb have the same form. Sometimes have the same form. For example, we have fast. He is a fast driver. He drives fast. So that word 
it's the same when it become adjective or adverb he is hard worker so he works hard that one is adverb and that one is adjective okay the adverb form of good is well so he is a good player he plays well i can't make good again so the adverb of good is well the adverb of good is well okay that is about the adverbs of manner so we have two syllables one the, the first one is talking about modal auxiliary and the other one is talking about adverbs of manner and don't forget the notes that must is stronger than should and here there are some words have the same one which become adverb or adjectives uh, except good it become uh, well when we want to using it as adverb okay now we have a question here complete the conversation using your own words so you can you uh, using your own words to complete the exercise let we take two and as an examples i am afraid i'm running out of gas so you have the next one b you should can we we can't we can answer that one and said you should be carefully 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 okay that one is adverb when i write it i should double the li uh, letter l the sign says 80 kilometers per hour and i'm doing 90. you must you must what what do you think the suitable answer you must to stop or you must reduce your speed you must reduce your speed so number three i am lost i don't know which way to go i think we should I think we should go from the right way or from the right sign, for example. And we have a lot of exercises here. You can complete it as more uh, exercise or more experience. So in question B, complete the conversation, use adverb. So that adverb, which we talking about before, ending with L-Y, you should using on this exercise. Complete the conversation, use adverb form of the adjective in uh, partners, then practice to conversation with a partner. Will my son brain drivers? Then he give it to you the word between uh, uh, quotation, they written reckless. He doesn't stop at stop signs, sign. And he is usually over the speed limit. He is always in a hurry. So we can we can write when I want to using uh, the adverb rec recklessly, recklessly. Okay, that one is changing to ending by ly. Number two, my son Alexander drives. They given to you good. Okay, but he sometimes drives too. Then give it fast. I am afraid he is going to have an accident one of these days so as what we talking before good if i want to using ad adv as adverb i should change it to well so my son alexander drives well so good it change it to well but he sometimes drives too fast fast is still as the same because fast one word from that word it become similar when i want to using as an adjective or an adverb okay and you have more than exercises to make more practice the third uh, the third section of our lesson today is talking about prepositions of place uh, prepositions of place if you want to ex express uh, or expression about your places and uh, using a preposition of it we can learn more about it so if you notice that we have a dark a dark color for some words inside the sentences uh, down of the pictures let we check what they written here number one we have a bark and we have a garden or yard near of it so the bark is across from the school uh, the bark is across off across off it means uh, between across off cut across of the school number two the bank 
is between the post office and the restaurant. So the bank here is in the middle between post office and restaurant. Number three, the pharmacy is next to two. Next to two, it means behind to the box store. That one is box store and that one is pharmacy. Okay? The pharmacy is next to the box store. Number four, the bus stop is on the corner. The bus stop is on the corner. So, if you notice here, to describe where we we'll live, I live in Jeddah. If you want to describe something, where to live, you should using in. But uh, if you want to describe something as a place, proposition of a place, uh, you should using on. Okay? Uh, so if you want to describe where we live, you can use the following proposition. Uh, with city, we can use in. And with a building, we can use on. And with the street, we can use on. So two times we can use uh, on with building and street. And we can use in with the city only, okay? After that, we have the museum. The museum is near the hotel. So this is the hotel and this is the museum. Near, it means not far away. It's near to the hotel, okay? The last one we have, the airport is far from town. The airport is far from town. So far from, it means very far, far away from you. Uh, you can reach it uh, by yourself. You should using uh, any uh, communications as car, as uh, plane, as bicycle. It means that very far from you. The airport is far from town. So I live, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the airport is far from town. As well, what we noticed here before, we want to remind us that we can use on in two times with the building. If you want to describe a building, you should use it on. And if you want to describe uh, a street, you can use on. And I can use in with the preposition of place if I want to describe where I live, city, where I live, city. So six things uh, we learned today about the prepositions of uh, places. Across from, between, next to, on and in, near, far uh, from. Okay? After that, we have imperatives of directions. Imperatives of directions. Take a left. It means turn left. And take a right. It means turn right. And we go to go street it means uh, go direct okay we have a question the last section of our lesson today as an exercise and uh, we will check what they have inside it complete the conversation with the correct prepositions and imperatives okay so you should need you should using the prepositions of place and you should using the imperatives of directions let we begin Exercise, uh, uh, sorry, excuse me, where is the post office? So they asking about prepositions of place. Go, sorry for that, go, then space and space left at the end of this street into main street. The post office is, is next space, bookshop across space, the park, thank you. Okay, let's we begin. Go right and take left at the end of the street into a main street the post office is next to next to okay the box store across from the bark across from the back okay thank you and exercise b so what is to see in your city? Why don't you visit the National Museum? It's space, second street. You can take the bus. The bus stop is space, the corner. That is great idea, thanks. So let we complete the exercises together. 
why don't you visit the National Museum? It's, what do you think? Second Street, w w far from Second Street. You can take the bus. The bus stop is uh, on the corner. So if I want to describe in a street or a bus, I should a place, uh, uh, I should uh, using on, on the corner. That is great idea, thank you. The last section have, excuse me, can you tell me where is the uh, accounts department is? Sure, face, stride down this, the corridor and take the elevator to the third floor. The accounts department is the third floor. When you come out of the elevator, all right, it's the end of the corner space to the cafeteria. Thanks a lot. Let me uh, answer that one. Sure, go straight down or go straight down this corner and take the elevator to the third floor. The uh, accounts department is on the floor, on the third floor. When you come out of the elevator, take right or turn right. At the end of the corridor, so go straight to the cafeteria. To the, or you can use uh, turn to the cafeteria. Thanks a lot. So our lesson today have four things. You should be careful about it. The first one is model auxiliaries by must and should. The, the second one, adverbs of manner. All the adjectives here ending with ly, it become adverb, and we have exercises about that. After that, we have prepositions of places, and we uh, learn together uh, six or seven things about it. After that, we have imperative, imperatives of directions, and we have, uh, or we know what the meaning of that signs up. And the end, we make an exercises for our lesson today. Thank you for sharing and thank you for joining for our channel today.